Hi there, Libra. Welcome back. It's Aunt Roslyn. It's time for your love triangle reading, Libra. I hope you're doing well in this beautiful new moon and Virgo energy we have going on. It's a lot of people wanting to know about their relationships more now, and especially with the love triangle, the third person, the fifth wheel, the other woman, the other man. Uh, I created this reading in particular because there are so many of my clients who are involved in a third-party relationship, okay? Um, what I'm doing is really focusing on the energy of your relationship, Libra, and then I focus on uh, what's going on with the third party. I want to tell you up front, thank you so much for subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. Uh, I do work in the highest good to help others. Uh, breakthrough to the life that they want. It could be money, business, love, cleansing out things in the family, ancestral work, shamanic healing, Reiki, distance healing. You can also, when you have time, go to www.rootsofearth.net and check out all of the things that are offered there and their authentic products, okay? All right, let's get going, Libra, with your love triangle reading for September 10th, 2018. What is the energy happening with Libra's love relationships? September 10th, 2018. What is happening with Libra love triangle relationships? Okay, let's see here. <coughs> Okay, authority. Well, let's see. Is there some kind of power play going on here, Libra? That's exactly what it makes me think of. Material harvest. That could be an important theme in your relationship, Libra. Uh, money and finances. Authority. Material harvest. Temptation. So this is very much like the devil's toxic energy in your relationship, Libra. So it could have been going on for a long time because it's in the position of foundation. So it could have been happening for a long time. We have love begins. Okay, this is your immediate past, Libra, in your relationship. So when I'm looking here, Libra, and feeling... Uh, it feels like the two of you may have been arguing. That's exactly what I'm getting, that there's been arguments and we have material harvest, but the energy presenting is authority, which is a lot of dom domination for a relationship, for it to be love flowing. There's something going on with the male energy in the relationship, okay? It does not have to be the male. It's the one in the relationship, Libra, who has the male embodiment of energy here. So we have authority presenting, we have temptations, toxic energy, addictions, it could be love, sex, it could be uh, actual alcohol, drug, you know, drug abuse, those kinds of addictions, but it can be toxic in your relationship. In your past, you had love with this person, that's in the past position, love, okay? So some of you, I feel like you're thinking about your future still with this person, Okay, movements, choices, and decisions is crowning you. So Libra, with you being an air sign and you liking things to be good on the outside and look good and to be happy and have things balanced, you've got movement, choices, and decisions. So this is something that's mentally perplexing you. It's bothering you. It's causing you to take a second look at your relationship. Okay, you're starting to wonder about it yourself. Okay. So we've got that crowning you in your thoughts. Spiritual union. Okay, so Libra, this could be one of your soulmates, definitely. Okay, spiritual union moving forward in the forward position for immediate future. So you're definitely thinking, Libra, you're thinking a lot about the choices and decisions you have to make with this person. Okay, and you're thinking about the spiritual union. Okay, so we have passion ignited. Okay, that was the next one. It was stuck to it. So we've got passion. We've got spiritual union here. We've got, you know, this mixture of energies. It almost feels like one person is very much uh, attached and corded to this relationship. And possibly you have another person 
who is just really imbalanced. They're bringing in this toxic energy. They're cheating. You know, they're not really on the same page here. Authority. Okay. Temptation. Addictions. Authority. It's like these two don't even belong uh, for any kind of long-term relationship. Libra, and I feel like looking at this with movements, choices, and decisions crowning you in your thoughts, that's really what you're thinking about, if you can even handle this going forward, okay? Obviously, you love this person. You've got love begins here in your past. You've got spiritual union, so you're definitely feeling a soulmate connection with this person. Perhaps that's why this has went on for so long, this behavior. On the bottom of the deck, we have truth. So this is the truth that needs to come out, okay? This is the actual truth that, you know, it just really, truly needs to come out here, okay? I hope you can hear me just fine. I stopped for a second to turn the fan on, Libra. Okay, so let's continue to go forward and get more of the energy here in your relationship. We have solar plexus chakra. So Libra, is it possible that you're having an issue with confidence and self-love and your self-will, okay? The solar plexus controls so much of that. And this being here and this authority card being here, are you pushing your own will and yourself to the side so that you can stay in this relationship, okay? There's definitely something going on with willpower. Willpower here with solar plexus chakra and then the authority card. So there's definitely something going on with power strength or power struggle lacking it. Firm foundation. Okay. So we're coming again to uh, the chakra system. Okay. So when you have a firm foundation, this is representing the base chakra, the root chakra, Libra. When you have a firm foundation, your sacral chakra is, is comforted. You feel secure. You feel like you are being supported and taken care of in your relationships. You feel that there's no need to worry. You don't have that fear of running from relationship to relationship. You don't have the fear that you're not making enough money. If there's something going on with your sacral chakra, also with your solar plexus chakra, that's something that you're not going to be able to uh, you're not going to be able to, so there's definitely something going on. I feel like, I feel like Libra, you're courted. You have courted yourself to this person. Um, Spirit is showing us the passion's been ignited within your chakra system. You have this spiritual connection that's very deep. Okay, you have this this solar plexus chakra that's being affected. You have this authority card here confirming that it's something going on with willpower. It's like a game of strength here. Then you've got the sacral chakra being represented, the root chakra here. So definitely, I feel like, yeah, conflict and defeat is the next one. Conflict and defeat. So this is showing so much of the rhythm of the relationship. So... With this being here, conflict and defeat, conflict and defeat. So is this a relationship that is really crumbling right now? Is it already crumbling right now, Libra? The waiting game. Okay. So this is in the position of final outcomes here, okay? Look at this. So we've got the waiting game. I'm being told, Libra, you know, you've got the waiting game, conflict, and defeat. I'm being told, Libra, that you're embarrassed. That's really what I'm being told. You're embarrassed. You know that this person has this toxic energy. They're also, you know, you have this energetic connection, the soulmate connection, but they are playing these games with you energetically, spiritually, mentally. They've got you thinking about movement, choices, and decisions. They're, the energy is presenting as someone being an authority, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you couldn't work on this and try to help to heal this. You know, you could. You could work on this. You're being crossed by material harvest. This also brings in the energy of money. So are you two fighting about money? 
Is that what part of this is? I'm being told as I'm sitting here, Libra, that you need a teacher. You need a guide through this. You know, this feels like, it feels like you're willing to circle and wait because you know that this other person is there. And you, you might feel a little bit desperate, Libra, like you don't want them, you know, you don't want this person to leave. And then they're happy with someone else. You know, it's like a fear thing. It's like a mind thing. So you're conflicted. And that's why this is crowning you, Libra. You don't know what to do. Even though this person is not showing a lot of love to you, you feel connected to them. You feel conflicted. Your willpower is affected. But you know this person fully. That's why you've seen this. And you've been around all of this toxic energy for a long time, you know? So I feel like looking at this, Libra, it's like I want you to be happy. And I feel like you deserve happiness, Libra. Let's just go further, okay? Let's go further here and see what's going on. What is going on with this other person? I want to know what's going on with this other person. What kind of thing is going on here? Because with this toxic energy here, you just never know. They could feel more free with this other person. They could feel that they have um, a better chance at happiness with this other person. Okay, three of cups. This is absolute definite confirmation that this other person, Libra, they, they just like to cheat. They want this. They want the third party. Three of Cups, that's really what it represents. The third person, the third party. I'm going to keep shuffling. Okay, let's see what this one is. <clears throat> okay, Two of Swords. Two of Swords. So this is, this is the other person, okay? This is your mate and the other person. They don't know. They're not sure, okay? It's, the Two of Swords is about a pathway. You need to choose. Is you know, do you want to go further with this? Do you want to uh, possibly return to your relationship? They're undecided, okay? Two of Swords is like a mental conflict. They're not sure if they want to move forward, okay? Let's get some more cards here. The energy of the other person in the relationship. The other person in the relationship here. The other person in the relationship. The other person in the relationship there. Okay. Okay, King of Wands. So this is definitely showing, I don't know, Libra, if you're involved with a fire sign, possibly a Leo or an Aries, okay? Uh, this is showing the passion and the heat of male energy. The king of wands is usually a player, you know. If they're not very grounded and they're not humble, they're usually going to be a player, okay. They want to have multiples. See, the three of cups here showing that they like the energy of a third person. And then here we have the king of wands, which is like a one-night stand kind of energy. Heat, passion, short, passionate affairs. So possibly, Libra, you know, looking at this this way, you know, I'm looking at the energy here of this third-party relationship. <clears throat> the Two of Swords is mental conflict. Not really sure. They still don't know fully if they want to choose one path or the other. Then we have the energy of the player, the King of Wands here. So we've got Three of Cups here. Third party confirmed, really confirming the third party, the energy of, you know, partying, affairs, uh, one night stands, cheating, drinking. Then we have the two of swords there with the conflicting mental energy. They are not sure if they want to stay in one relationship or the other. Okay, so you can think of the two of swords like a divide there. Then we've got the energy here of the King of Wands, which is all about lust, passion, sex, one night stands, uh, cheating, or short term, short lived affairs. And then going forward, we have the moon here, which is an illusion. 
So possibly with the moon card being there in the end like that, possibly, you know, your your mate, Libra, they may decide that they just want to end it, you know, that they're not going to go forward with this third per person, the other woman, the other man. However, it looks like if you stay, Libra, you've got all of these things to work on. You know, you've got all of these options and choices as well where you don't have to accept, you know, all of this domination and toxic energy. Okay. So I'm sorry, Libra, that you're experiencing that, but I hope I was able to give you a little bit of clarity, a little bit of understanding into what's happening here. And it may not reach all of you because it is a general read. Okay. So I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day, Libra. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.